Rab Chia learns, the Pasuk says, Asher Yomak Chi Hu. Why did it add Ze? So if Ze is the extra word, it comes to be Memayit. If it's Ze, it's Ze below Min Achea. Same kind and not a different kind. So if you're asking me for Chitim and I admit Sa'orin, that's not Motiv Anitzas. No Shvur De Oraisa. Avur De Oraisa says, no. The normal Hebrew language would be Asher Yom So what's the extra word? Who? If the extra word is who, and the word who comes to Bemai, then it's who, Velo Only if he admits, and not if Adam admits partially. That's a simple way to understand the Machlokas. There is also, by the way, another Machlokas. Okay, that's also interesting. And there, the majority of Postkin do not Postkin like Abkhir. And what's that? You ask me for $100, and the moment I say 50, I give you the 50. Is that still money that makes us? After all, I paid you right away. Now nothing is left except the other 50 you ask, and the other 50 are that I. So you could argue that's I call for a call. Because what I owe you, hey, look, it's gone. I paid it already. So Rabkhia says, even though I gave it to you right away, since I didn't give it to you after, there's still motive of mixas and chayyim. Avshesha says, no. That's off the board already. And therefore, the other 50 are put. Most of the post can pass through like Avshesha. Yes. Okay. We came across some other very interesting stuff there. We came across that based on Sukkim, Klala Prata Klala actually, that the only time you have to give a Shmua if it's movable goods or metatalim or money. But if it's karka, if it's real estate, ain't is boyin al karka. And also, interesting, a loan, bechsav, that's with the star. And if you have a signed promissory note by valid Aiden, then there's a shibud on karka, real estate. And that you never swear. Karkos you don't swear. You don't swear on karka and on shibud karkos. Okay? Yeah, Whatever well. reason. So, interesting is, we learned also yesterday, if I think that Helech is what? Hotter, why do they do a special possibility about karka? Karka is always Helech. It's here. It can't disappear. So we learned yesterday. Yeah, you know, the day before, you know, karka could also be rude. It could have been chofer, boros, shikin, moros, and lost value. So there's some other money to be paid. So a lot is, if it's karka, you don't swear. Is there ever an exception to this? Yes. We learned about the interesting concept of gilgul shvur. Sometimes there are things that normally you don't swear. But if you have to swear anyway, we include in the Shmuah even items that by themselves would not have necessitated the Shmuah. For example, can the husband ever make his wife swear? Swear with your rice off before a basin, that you never committed adultery with any man whatsoever? No. But if there's evidence that despite the hasro, she had yichud with one particular individual, and Aiden testified to that, where now there is a field for the wife to swear that she didn't commit adultery with this particular man, then you include with any man. The same thing. If I have to swear anyway on, on Kaelin or money, then if Karka is involved too, I also have to swear on the Karka. All right, so we have, yeah, I should go over also, which I want you to know, with the Shomrin. You should know the four different Shomrin Shomechinam, where all the benefit is only to the owner of the item, because he gets everything. The one who's a Shomer can't use it, and he gets free Shmiro. That Shomer has to give only a normal Shmiro, Shmiro Kenevech HaShomer. Therefore, he's Chayev only if something happened to the Bikodom, Al Yedei Pshion, negligent. He's Potter for Gneva, he's Potter for Aveda. Gneva means that I did lock the place. 
I just didn't give it a super air. Aveda is part of the And the other end of the spectrum is the shoel, where all the benefit, all the hano, is to the shomer. He doesn't pay for the use of it, and he can use it. And the owner just loses the use of his item for a while, and there's also a deterioration by usage. That shomer is kaya for everything except one thing. If something happened to the bikodon, the normal work that was supposed to be done with that item, with an animal or a computer or whatever. In between, you have shared hanor, the, so the socher and the nose socher, the one who rents but pays for the privilege, and the one who cannot use it but he gets paid for guarding it. He is kaya for pshia, the meva vaveda, but he's part of for every onus. Is that, what is that? Is that Socher and No Say Socher? and No Say Socher. What are they? Okay. Socher and No Say Socher. Show me Socher. All right. I think I covered this and I covered that. Let me see what I didn't cover. Yeah. How do we know, by the way, that a code for a code is put them in the oriso from swearing? Basically, Tosin ends up saying, we know it. Because the Torah says the one who is chayev is only a mode of amitzas. So it comes to exclude someone who is kofar hakol. Because if kofar hakol would have been chayev, what's the finish of mode of amitzas? That's obvious. So by the Torah saying mode of amitzas. Is there ever a case, by the way, where mode of amitzas could be potter from swearing even to the Arisa? Yes where he has a miku that he easily could have used, where he's not confronting the Malva, but the Malva died already. He's dealing with the son of the Malva. So the one who did him a favor is no longer even living. And the son doesn't even know whether they paid him back or not. So that's a different story. Okay. You might have wanted to say, we could also know because the Torah specifically says, has a raya that an eight echad can make you swear. If you'd always be chayef to swear no matter what, even by kol for a kol, who needs to be told about an eight echad? The answer is, what happens if an eight echad comes when no one is demanding anything? The mother doesn't even know. It could be the son or the grandson. And he says what? You owe. So the Torah has to teach me you have to swear. Okay? Now let me go further. We also, oh yes, this is very important. Okay. Two different concepts about how Edus can be invalidated. There's so much material we learned, it's hard to think, remember everything uh, that we covered. And I really want you to do very well on this exam. How can we invalidate testimony? One is by Hakosho. If two other people come, they just disagree. A and B say X is Chayim. C and D say X is not Chayim. People there are not Chayim. What happens in such a case? Everything goes based on the previous assumption. Which means the person doesn't know. That's all. The Adus is cancelled. Is there another way of invalidating testimony? Yes. That's called Hazoma. What is Hazoma? A and B testify that X is higher for something that happened at 11 o'clock in Washington Heights. And C and D come and say, we have no idea what happened in Washington Heights at 11 o'clock on that day. But we do know one thing, that A and B surely were not there because they were with us at 11 o'clock in Queens. So they couldn't have seen what's happening in Washington Heights. On that day and at that time, you were with us in a different place. That invalidates the first pair's testimony. And more than that, the punishment of the first pair is that they get the same punishment they unfairly wanted to inflict upon Mr. X. Okay. Now, 
another interesting thing. An interesting machlokas between Rabbi Shimon ben Loza and Rabbi Akiva. Strange thing. The mother comes to Loza, and the mother says to the Loza, you owe me trying to cover as much as I can. You owe me five dollars. The Loza says, no, I owe you three. Does the mother have something to back him up? Yeah. He has a promissory note. But the promissory note is very, very strange. What does the promissory note say? He owes him just coins. He owes him money. Coins. Minimum of coins is two. Doesn't say three or five. So Rabbi Shimon ben Elohim says, that's more than beliefs us. He wants five, he says three, that's the swear. But the Kiva says, no. Why not? Because he could have said two. If he admits three, more than the star would indicate, and the star is solid, she would cut off. He's like a Meshiv Avedo. We pass me like him. He was like what? Like a Bekiva. We pass me like him. That he's part of and swear and all the rest. We pass him like that. Mm-hmm. He is like a Meshiv Avedo. Because he could easily have said two. Jay Wade. Derek Heretz, Kodmala Why does he swear? Okay. Let me see what else. Did I cover everything that I really wanted to cover? I do not know. Yes, you should know this. If I deny owing money, and later on it's proven that when I denied it, I definitely owed it, will I forever be possible to aid us? We ask no. I'm kosher to aid us. Why? Because unfortunately, many people, even when they denied something which is true as far as alone, you have no proof that they wanted to steal. They may just have not have had the money right now, and they may simply have wanted to ishtamut the kamishtam, to delay tactics. So hakofer b'milbe kosher leidus. But hakofer b'pikodom, posher leidus. Let me explain. You give me something to watch. And you come and want it back. And it's a night. And later on it turns out that the very day that I denied getting it yet, I had it in my possession and I knew about it. I'm possibly able. Why? Because I was obviously intending to steal. There could be no reason for delaying. So a kofa bibikodon is what? Possibly able. Unlike a kofa bemilva, kosher ladies. Okay, let me see now. Okay, you should know there's the famous Machokas. Obviously, you know that. I'll go over it again. Okay. That certain kabbalas I can only be hired if I admit to it myself. If I admit to certain averas, I'm chayiv v'chatas. I could be chayiv v'oshem. If I admit to gazela, I'm chayiv to pay an extra chomesh, an extra fifth. According to the majority view, Aden cannot be chayiv what? V'chatas? or an Osham, or a Chomesh. Only a person's own admission. But Meir says, Aiden can do anything and everything that his own admission can do. Anything and everything that his own admission can do, according to what Meir. His proof is they can inflict me so they can do everything. Okay? I think I reviewed enough with you. I don't know what's going to cover everything, but I certainly need a lot of material for you. Good luck. First exam on Thursday. What was the